Hi and welcome to the Gateway Guide Transportation Center. This facility behind me plays a major role every day in getting your family to work and school. And today we're going to take a closer look behind the scenes, so follow me. Right here, where we stand right now, is our Transportation Management Center, MoDOT's Transportation Management Center for the St. Louis region. This facility, this room, operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week to keep traffic moving in St. Louis. We started off with just a handful of cameras to help monitor our freeways. And today we have over 250 cameras. They're spaced about every mile on our freeways. Teamwork is the main reason the Gateway Guide works. And here is the arterial road section. They're not considered major interstates, but they still play a major part in how this facility works. Uh, just to give you an idea of what the size of our system is, we manage just about a thousand traffic signals and of those a thousand we have more than 800, 800 of them that actually are tied into this central signal control system that we can monitor remotely. Sometimes we'll have an incident on the roadway where we have to change the signal timing to try to get extra traffic through, say a freeway has a crash, traffic's diverted to an arterial and we have to try to manage an extra load of traffic, so we'll sometimes change the timing from signals for of the signals from this workstation. Another interesting aspect to the Gateway Guide is here at the Traffic Operations Area, where they service not only St. Louis, but the entire southern part of the state. So basically we oversee traffic operations in the St. Louis metropolitan area. Um, I work in the morning, I have a county part that works in the afternoon, and we also have a person that works the midnight shift. So after hours, in the evenings, on the work week, on the weekends and the holidays, we are also responsible for traffic operations in the southern part of the state of Missouri. Everything from Joplin all the way across the Boot Hill um, to Poplar Bluff area. We do work with the inspectors in those uh, in the field and everything that actually part of that construction zone to uh, figure out, determine, you know, first of all, how long they're going to be out there. Second of all, um, what can we do to actually uh, expedite them removing themselves from the roadway. The situations where they're going to be out there for a long extended time period, we also try to send out the messages to the public and everything and make them aware of it so they can make traffic choices and everything on what roads they want to take to avoid the construction areas. But we work very hard with the inspectors and everything to actually come up with a solution and everything to get the roadway open as soon as possible. Just to give you an example, operators have the ability to post important information on more than 100 message boards across the state. They also have traffic sensors on 225 of the 275 miles of freeway in the district. We monitor traffic. It's my job to, to seek out problems before motorists experience them or, or before other motorists experience them. Say there's a, an accident. I had that off in the past. I, I utilize traffic sensors, gather the data from those, use the traffic cameras, use the uh, digital message boards to announce the motorists proceeding that way that they're going to come across a problem and, uh, if possible, divert them around it or at least point them in the right direction to get them through it as safe as possible. We could be the best co-pilot a motorist can have if they, they know where the tools are at and they use us uh, to the best of their ability, uh, i.e. reading the message boards, uh, checking on the internet before they leave the house or even using 511. And whenever you have a question, you can always call 888-ASK-MODOT where you will have the chance to speak with a live customer service representative 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So we're in charge of being the answer center for anyone that has questions or concerns in our district or the other districts after hours. We provide roadside assistance, we provide information about accidents or concerns, get people out there for trees that come down in bad weather. We will give directions, we will answer pretty much anybody's questionnaire or we will try and route them to the right people and try and get things done to make the roads safe the way they should be for them. In a 24-hour setting like this where the information needs to be out there for the public, it's very important that we be knowledgeable, that we be as accurate as possible and hopefully enjoy the job and take pride in what we do. These customer service representatives serve a vital role because they receive more than 6,000 calls every month. The Gateway Guide is also home to Motorist Assist. Something different every day. I want to be prepared for anything at any time. They help motorists with everything from a flat tire to traffic accidents, and their goal is to keep traffic moving. Because for every one minute a lane is closed, 
20 minutes of backup can accumulate, which could lead to major problems. Things that impede the traffic on the freeways and arterials could be work zones and incident, but there are other things such as special events that also interrupt traffic or can if you don't manage them properly. MoDOT does get involved with managing those traffic influxes for special events. The All-Star Game, for instance, last summer, we, we actually got involved with how to manage traffic around in and around that area, presidential motorcades, things like that, that we have to react to to try to help mitigate the impacts that the driver's going to see. Yeah, we want to monitor aggressively and manage proactively. In St. Louis, that is our mantra. That is what we are focused at doing right here at the Transportation Management Center every day and every night. We want to actually be on top of it. We want to know, we're always seeking, trying to find out what's going on, if there's something going on our roads, and we're trying to get in front of it, and then we're actually trying to actually get to those motorists and get in any avenue we can to pro proactively get out there and may help them make better decisions so that they can keep moving safely and efficiently to their destination. So there's a quick tour of exactly how the Transportation Management Center works. We hope this gives you a chance to understand how the Gateway Guide is here to help you and make your commute to work and school a safer one.